G'day guys, Dom here, and welcome to Friday Knife Drop. So this is probably going to be one of the weirder videos I've done on this channel, mostly because I make bottle openers now, and a big part of making bottle openers is testing that shit, so this could be interesting. I, I don't know if this is going to go up on Friday, I'll probably sit on this and upload it Saturday to see if it's, uh, you know, how badly I come off in it. But we'll roll with it, see what happens. Um, so as I mentioned before, I am now making bottle openers. I made uh, three of them this week. I was actually cutting out friction folders. Uh, I've got a customer who's waiting for a long time and I needed a friction folders, but I didn't realize that the friction folder handles I had were two different grades of titanium, so they actually anodized differently, which isn't great, but luckily I had another chunk of titanium, which I had water jet cut today. And I had these weird spaces in the titanium where I thought, fuck it, let's make some uh, bottle openers in there. So this is what I came up with. I've been meaning to do bottle openers for a really long time. And it doesn't really make sense that I haven't really made a bottle opener yet. So I make a bottle opener now. But the idea was basically I wanted a, a bottle opener that was very, very lightweight. And I wanted it to be smaller than my keys. So I made three of them in the first batch. Now I might do a second batch of these. I don't know yet. I have a second piece of titanium, which I had to set aside for another project. But at this point in time, I don't think that project's going to happen until 2020, most likely. So. Um, if people are interested, I'm running a pre-order on these titan on these uh, bottle openers, um, just to see if there's actually interest in it before I cut up this sheet, because obviously, I'd rather not cut up titanium if this is just a one-time thing. I did put three of these available on my website, and they sold out pretty much instantly, but those were all like repeat customers of mine, so I don't really know if that's, you know, just a one-time thing, or if that's something that more and more people would like. I quite like the idea of having bottle openers for shows and stuff, it kind of... I like these little knickknacks, you know, it's it's a great way to kind of sell more things at the show, interact with people, and to introduce more people to what I do here at Doobie Blades. It's just, it's just fun, it's cool, I like making them. And also I've got the advantage that I can kind of keep them in stock, and down the road if I get sick or something, I've still got something on the website that's selling, and just, it, it's, I think it's a smarter way to run the business, uh, to have all these other things besides knives, it kind of helps you know, helps out with cash flow and all that, because I tell you right now, I'll make a lot more money on these things than I do on knives. Okay, so bottle openers. I have three of these, uh, just to show you guys, these are all sold, uh, but they are pre-orders on the website, as I mentioned before. So these are all in different colors. I just thought I'd do different colors, because if, if they do get popular, I can offer dealers a different choice of colors, and it's just easier to sell, and people can pick what they like. So we'll go through 001 first, you can see, the serial number is a DB first, and that's because I can't really engrave my logo in there too easily, and I can't really etch it too easily, so uh, I ran with a DB001. Um, down the road, I might get these CNC cut if they're popular, but that would be, um, I'd have to do a batch of like 200 of that to make it worthwhile. So at the moment, we'll just stick with this, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I've done a scratch pattern finish on the flats, and I really like that, because it's much more of a, it's a lot more of a tougher finish. It kind of takes wear better and it looks a lot better when it gets worn in. I could, if I wanted to, I could do like a really clean uh, polished anno, but I don't think that'd be all that great for something in your keys. It's gonna get beaten up real quick and look shitty. This thing, it gets beaten up, and it just looks better and better. So we've got uh, two little eyes in there, just to, you know, just for looks really. It doesn't really do all that much. And I designed them with that little uh, spike there, in case you needed to punch a hole into an aluminium can to uh, shotgun it, because alcohol is fun. Uh, I've also, another little feature you might not notice, is that I've actually uh, sort of added a shiny little chamfer inside there. It's just a little detail that's uh, just kind of nice to see. So that's 001, 002, same kind of a deal, but instead of a blue anno, it's like a bronze anno. But yeah, same kind of a deal. And 003 is just straight sandblasted but still with a brush finish all the way through. And uh, the all important test, and I'm leaving the labels on this because I'm looking for a beer sponsorship. That would be very handy. Sweet. All right, so if I can't do this on camera, I'm gonna look like a fucking tool. Let's do it sideways so you can see it happening. So they work. But of course, we have to do a lot more testing. I want to do like a big party in the next week and get like a whole bunch of people over so we can test bottle openers. That'd be very handy. <laughs> uh, we might even do that on the Facebook group. Who knows? Okay, so next up, we've got surgeons. 
Now these are back from machining, as I make a giant mess. And I've got 60 of these, uh, 60 odd of these things lying around. You can see, this is basically where they're at now, as I stab myself in the finger. They've got the nice, they've got that nice big lightning pocket in there. And all nicely machined up. And probably next week, or the week after, I'll get these things all ground um, and sanded. And then I'm gonna send them off to heat treat and then re-grind them again and get them all uh, off to coatings. So there is 60 plus of these things right now. I'm probably gonna do some different colors. I'm not quite sure yet. They're definitely gonna have black ones there, but I might do some brown ones or some OD green ones. I don't know, it depends what um what kind of Cerakotes are available. Because I wanna use Elite Cerakote on these things and the color options of that aren't that great. So um, we've got more of these coming. Uh, Pre-order is still up. The pre-order is going to go down soon because obviously if the knives are going to be done soon I'd rather not have the pre-order up and they're going to go up to the uh, original price of 136 For anyone on the pre-order list or think about getting in on the pre-order list while it's still up, these are all back from CNC. Got the bevels cut in there. These are all going to be re-grammed. So uh, we're going to go through and we're going to grind these probably post heat treat because it's a bit more forgiving then. But I definitely want to clean up the edges and everything uh, before I uh, heat treat it because that's actually pretty rough. There's deep gadgets in there and stuff. So that's all going to get cleaned up with uh, small wheels and scotch bite and all that before I heat treat them. And they're going to be really nice knives. The big channel in there is definitely dropping a lot of weight. They are significantly lighter. And it's just another little extra feature to look at the knife, you know. It's not just a, a blank slab of steel. You've got some, uh, some more eye candy there. It's just another little element to look at. And we've got this space here where we'll be doing the serial numbers and probably engraving the steel there as well. All right, so last but not least, we have friction folders. So this is something I made last week. You'll have seen the build video. These are all in 12C27 G10 handles. And I am pretty much over friction folders right now because that's basically all I've been doing for the last week and a half. I've got one more to make um, for a very patient customer and then I am done for a while. All right, so friction folders. This is 009. Now there's a bit of a different shape to the other ones. What happened was I was going for the uh, dagger grind on this thing or bayonet grind or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I kind of underestimated how difficult it was. It was kind of grinding and grinding and grinding, trying to get things even to match and all that sort of stuff. And all of a sudden I had this really, really thin tip that would just bend if you looked at it wrong. So uh, I ground that off and kind of reshaped it a bit and came up with this thing. Kind of a one-off. I don't think I'll be making any more again. And if I do, it'll be a mistake. So uh, yeah, just kind of random one. Got orange G10 on there, which is nicely bead blasted, as well as the hardware is also bead blasted as well. And a black G10 backspacer that's been filed. We have also crown the edges here and here as well, just to just to add a little feature because I get bored. The bevels on this thing are hollow grind. That gives you that really uh, defined grind on this thing, on this otherwise fairly thin steel. And they're also uh, satin finished to about 400 grit equivalent. And the flats and the rounding and everything is all acid stone washed, which is something I'm doing quite a lot of these days. So that's a uh, 009. So next up, 0010. So this is a different blade as well. If you have a look at it, we've got a sort of a swedge crown on there with crown spines. Very, very small swedge, but straight, dead even, done with a disc grinder, so it's nice and flat. Hologram main bevel. And this thing is just wicked sharp. The handles on this are Reggie 10 blasts like the other ones and a file backspacer and I've also filed in here just to kind of play around a bit you know the handle shape is also a little bit different it's just something I like to do because with friction folders I have a lot more room to play around with them and experiment and have fun uh, with a frame lock or a line lock not so much um, they're a lot more restrictive as far as design goes and also price wise you don't really want to experiment too much with a knife that's a uh, more than twice the price of this thing so um, with a with a Primus or whatever, or a line lock, I'm a lot more careful what I do. With these, I'm kind of a lot more free. So that's 009, oh sorry, 0010. Next up, we have 0011. So this is more of the standard uh, sliver shape. Bit of a different spine back here. I've kind of added these little notches here, just cause I could. This one is with OD green, B blasted hardware again. Black bag spacer again, filed again. We've got nice centering on that thing. Yep, nice centering on that thing. I'm always paranoid with these things. Um, we've also got jimping in there again, because I like to play around. 
acid stone wash flat and that nice beautiful satin finish on the bevels there. Next up we've got Sliver 0012. So this is kind of a weird one. This is the first time using this material. This is Silver Twill. And uh, it's kind of like carbon fiber but instead of uh, carbon you've got aluminium running all the way through it. Which is kind of a cool look. It's got these really unique kind of glints in the light. Like when you hold it in certain directions you have light reflecting differently. It's a very unique material. Um, I've only got one more piece of this stuff and I don't think I'll get use it, uh, buy any more because it's a really, um, it's not fun to work with, you know, it's, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, it finishes weird, but once you do get it done, it does look cool. Um, and I do have that one more piece, so eventually I'll make another one when I can be bothered. Uh, this one is sold, so it's coming out today. Got a nice file backspacer on there. G10. We have titanium pivots, which are anodized. And the hardware on this is all beat blast, which is usual, which is kind of like standard for me these days. Nicely centered. Nicely centered. Got a little bit paranoid there. It's running on uh, Teflon washers, I believe. Which is usually what I do with a G10. If I've got like a synthetic handle, a friction folder, I usually use synthetic washers. It just seems to work better than a uh, phosphor bronze. And on the blade, we have uh, a nice two-turn satin finish. So that's a Sliver 0012. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it came out all right, we'll see. And uh, also, if you know Patrick Adir Designs on uh, YouTube, I sent him a knife a few months ago and he's actually doing a collaboration with me on YouTube. So he just uploaded a live stream which is making the handles for that thing. So go check out Patrick's channel. Uh, he's gonna have a video up soon where he actually does the handles and all that for one of my knives. So pop over to his channel, give him a sub, and let him know what you think about the live stream, and you know, keep your eyes peeled for the, uh, the second video. Uh, anyway, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.